Hi everyone, welcome to Green Monk TV. My guest on the show today is Jim Spoor. Jim is with IBM. Uh, Jim is the director of the Global University Programs for IBM. Uh, we have Jim on the show because I came across the uh, IBM Smarter Planet University Jam, uh, which was run over the last uh, few weeks or months, I'm not sure which. Jim will tell us more about it. I decided to invite him on the show to talk a little more about it. So, Jim, can you tell us, first of all, uh, what was the Smarter Planet University Jam and what was the thinking that led to it? Sure. Thank you very much for the opportunity. So. Uh, IBM has a Smarter Planet initiative where we're really asking this question, can we build a smarter planet? Can we build a planet that uses IT to improve transportation, uh, healthcare, water management, energy, green, putting more sensors in the world, uh, interconnecting systems, um, optimizing systems, but also making them more resilient uh, and on a sustainable uh, improvement trajectory. So as part of this, we're engaging with all our constituents, our customers, our partners, and um, I'm the director of Global University Programs, so we wanted to design something that would really let us uh, drive mind share in universities about our Smarter Planet initiative, because we thought, we, we had a hypothesis that the students and faculty would be really excited about this, but how to test it. So we decided to test it by creating a jam. You can think of a jam as crowdsourcing where we're going to have thousands of, hundreds and hundreds of people, thousands of people online at the same time talking about Smarter Planet. We decided the perfect timing for this would be Earth Day 2009. So we designed the jam to go over multiple days, April 21st to 24th, um, because we thought if we overlapped uh, Earth Day, that would be perfect for thinking about a Smarter Planet. And what we were really hoping to do is just see what do the students think? What do the faculty think? And the major outcome we wanted to identify was collect a set of ideas, see if they're enthusiastic, first of all, identify maybe a few faculty uh, who are really enthusiastic about it, identify a dozen or so uh, students who are really enthusiastic about it, so we could have some follow-on uh, focused interactions with those key faculty and students. And what were the outcomes of it? I mean, did you get to identify those people? What, what, what interesting ideas came out of it that maybe you guys hadn't thought of? Uh, and uh, uh, another question, I guess, is just how global was it? How many uh, countries and how many uh, continents were involved? Exactly. So we sent out uh, invitations, and um, we were hoping that we would get about 1,000 students uh, and about 100 faculty. Well, we got uh, uh, 1,355 students and 225 faculty. In fact, by the time you added in our other partners and people who found out about it and wanted to be invited, we had um, nearly 2,000 people all interacting uh, in this jam. And we had uh, over uh, 41 countries participating, uh, about 206 universities and research centers. So I guess the first thing is we did validate that there was great interest in having a conversation uh, with IBM on the topic of could we create a smarter planet. Uh, we had top universities from around the world, uh, Carnegie Mellon in the United States, Imperial College in London, uh, India Institute of Technology in India, um, universities from Sweden, Japan, uh, all over the world, 41 countries total. And uh, we, we engaged uh, uh, IBM experts talking to the faculty and the students on how do we create smarter cities? How do we create a smarter electric grid, water management, smarter healthcare? And we got back just an enormous number of creative ideas. We found out that, for example, over 90% of the students that uh, um, on the jam were thinking they wanted to get more involved in their university on green projects. So they were very excited that IBM had created this jam platform that allowed them to interact with uh, other students, faculty, and IBMers uh, all around the world on this topic. So it was it was very successful. We did we did identify two faculty, and we gave them faculty awards. One in Turkey, uh, one here in Berkeley, um, who I was just visiting with yesterday, who made some exceptional contributions. And we also identified students uh, who had tremendous uh, enthusiasm uh, for thinking about, um, for example, in the smarter cities 
How would city-wide Wi-Fi networks change things? How could they make cities more navigatable um, using technology? On um, water management, uh, there was just a tremendous uh, number of ideas about how water is used on campus at the universities. Are they, are they going uh, green enough on campus? So, so we found great uh, enthusiasm for the topic of Smarter Planet and also what was very exciting is the students were very focused on their local community. How can we, how can we create a smarter university community? Because the universities have electricity and water and, and all of these systems locally. So it was, uh, it was quite, uh, quite a validation that there was uh, enthusiasm. And as a result of this, and we weren't really planning to do this before the jam, we decided we we're going to create a student advisory board for us around our Smarter Planet topics to make sure that we're uh, understanding how students want to think about this. Uh, we're setting up a Facebook um, mentoring uh, group so IBMers and students can stay in contact. So a lot of interesting uh, things came out of this and probably the biggest thing is we learned a lot of lessons about how we might want to do this uh, in years to come. So this might become an annual, uh, if the student advisory board agrees that we should do this, this may be something we do with students around the world uh, for years to come. Interesting. And I noticed in the release there was mention of an augmented reality um, uh, suggestion that came out of the university uh, in Ankara, I, I believe it was. Uh, can, can you talk a little bit about that? Because I just happen to have a, an interest in augmented reality. Ah, so do I, actually. Uh, uh, I, we wrote some papers about uh, information in places and World Board uh, and some of the uh, previous research I've done with IBM. So yeah, the idea of augmented reality for people who don't know about it, uh, virtual reality is like these games where you're in a virtual world and you have your icon, but augmented reality is where you might hold up your cell phone and look at a street and see uh, information, navigation information overlaid on the image of the street on your cell phone. Um, IBM has created systems where you could point your cell phone at signs in a foreign language and the augmented reality sy uh, system would translate so you could actually read uh, in your native language what these signs said in a foreign language. So augmented reality is really overlaying information on the world to uh, make information more visible. And uh, the students, of course, are very excited, had many creative ideas about how augmented reality could improve life's life in city, both for visitors who are coming to the city and need the additional information, but also for people who live in the city um, and, and just need to have additional information as they go about their day-to-day -day lives. Cool. And uh, you did mention that um, this will hopefully be happening in, in coming years, depending on student faculties. Uh, what, what, are, what else is happening going forward? I mean, you have all this information now. Uh, what do you hope to do with it? And uh, what, what are your plans for future JAMS uh, universities willing? Well, we have about uh, six different groups in IBM. Uh, we came out with a report that you can find on our website. Uh, our uh, university website has the Smarter Planet Jam that lists a lot of the ideas so people may be interested in going in looking at that. We actually have six different groups around IBM from our software group, our hardware group, our service groups looking over those ideas. Uh, they're very excited about the fact that we'll have the student advisory board where um, they'll continue to, to be able to have dialogue on some of these uh, very creative ideas that are coming out of universities. Uh, um, I would say the main thing is tremendous validation um, that this concept of how do we create a smarter planet really resonates with the students today. They're really, they're really thinking green, they're really engaged, they, 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 uh, we've got some wonderful quotes in the report of the students. Uh, thanking IBM for creating a platform where they could engage, feel excited, participating in a global effort like this. So, so uh, we're looking forward to, uh, to uh, doing this in the future and continuing to build on the enthusiasm that the students have around creating a smarter planet. Superb. Jim, thanks man for coming on the show. My pleasure. Thanks a lot.